Hey everybody, this is Triggs, and I am back from vacation, so I thought I'd do a requested tutorial on how to create professional Cinema 4D text. So let's get right into it. So you want to open up Cinema 4D, and um, I have my light kit here. I'll put the link into the description so that you can download it and use it. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to MoGraph, create a Mo text. We're going to make the text a little bit bigger. And then you're going to go on to your Mo text, go to Object, and we're going to change the name of it. I'm going to put mine as Tutorials, uh, as an ex so you guys can see an example. Next, we're going to set the depth to 80 and get it about centered. And I'm going to pick a font. I'm going to use Agent CFB. It's really popular and it's a really um, clean font. I will put that in the description so that you guys can uh, go download that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our material. So we're, we're going to make a new material and we're going to go to the color tab and I'm going to pick a blue. So we'll choose that blue. We're going to go to luminance and the luminance should be a little bit darker around the same color blue and the reflection go around the same area again and pick it a little bit lighter than the original. Make sure you're spe specular checked and mode plastic width 50, height 20, fall off 0, inner width 0. So we can now drag that to our text. Now we're going to hit control C and control V to duplicate our text layer. Then we'll put that text behind the original. And we're going to change the depth of this one to 250. And we're going to go to caps, add a fillet cap on the start and the end, and put the caps up to five on each. After you have that done, we're going to create a new material again. And this time we're going to go for a gray, and it's going to be like um, kind of like a uh, darkish to um, uh, kind of middle gray. So we're going to have the color in the middle of your grayscale area. The luminance is going to be a little bit darker. Actually, um, you're going to want to bring it pretty far down on your grayscale. And for the luminance, we're going to bring the brightness down to 50. And then we're going to go to reflection. And we're going to bring the reflection down to a little bit above the middle. And check that. Set it to Fresnel. And put the mix strength to 50. And then the brightness to 21. Alright, that looks good. So we're going to put that on our next mode text, and we're going to drag that, drag that back so that the blue is showing. And now, I like it about right there, but you can um, adjust your blue to look how the way you want. And um, you can also add caps on the blue if you feel like um, you need them. So the next thing is just to uh, select your text, and we're just going to rotate it back just a tad. And after you have it rotated back, we're going to check out the render settings. Looks perfect. Now you should have your render settings on um, global illumination, color correction, depth of field, and ambient occlusion, anti-aliasing on best and still image, output 1920 by 1080, and then um, save it as a PNG and an alpha channel. And then um, save it as what you want. And then uh, we'll render it out, and I'll come back when it's done so you can see what it looks like. All right, now here's the text all rendered out, and I have it open in Photoshop. So we're just going to put on some simple layer styles to make it look even better. So we're going to go to our gradient overlay. We're going to keep it to black to white. We're going to set the blend mode to overlay. And we're going to change the opacity to 50. We're going to go to drop shadow. Make sure it's on 90 degrees. Set the opacity to 50, spread to 4, and size to 4. Then add, we're going to add a slight outer glow, blend mode to overlay, opacity at 40, and size of 8. So there you go, you have your professional Cinema 40 3D text, and I'll put the project file in the description with the light kit so that you can um, 
make it yourself and use it for your own uh, backgrounds and different things you want. So please subscribe to my channel. Please like and I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.